Hi everyone, I'm Alexi, and welcome back to Dance Curious. Today, we're going to be talking about some controversy. The question on the table today is, do women really need to take salsa lessons? Now, I'm going to be giving you my no-holds-barred opinion on this. As you can imagine, I'm a salsa dance teacher. My end conclusion is going to be, yes, they do. But the idea that women do not need to take salsa lessons is one that I hear actually quite a lot. And so I think it's important not just to say, yes, they do, but <laughs> to go through point by point and explain why they do so that we fully understand not just whether we should or shouldn't, but the reasons why we should or shouldn't. Followers don't decide what is led. Followers shouldn't anticipate what is led. It's the leader's responsibility to indicate to the follower what is going to be led. So it's not important for followers to know the steps. It's the leader's responsibility to tell them what to do. When you have a leader who's not that experienced, maybe hasn't done it a whole ton, no matter how good, how experienced their follower is, it may not be sufficient to make the dance work all that well, right? If the signal just doesn't come, then nothing happens, right? Or the wrong thing happens. And on the contrary, if you have a really phenomenal leader, he can dance with someone who doesn't have all that much experience and make it look pretty darn awesome, okay? So all of that taken into consideration, we're kind of like, well, okay, clearly whether this is a good dance or not depends on the leader's skill level, not the follower's skill level. And so dance lessons for followers are not that important unless it's maybe for styling, right? To make it look fancy. Okay, so this all sounds pretty reasonable, right? And there are a lot of truths in it, right? What are they? Okay, leaders should indicate what the followers should do. Yes, they should clearly indicate it, okay? Two, followers should not try to anticipate the steps, right? We're not mentally thinking beforehand, this is a crossbody lead, I'm going to do it now. And additionally, it's definitely true that followers don't need to know as many moves as leaders do. This is a relative statement, <laughs> but we'll get back to that. Um, but just thinking about it, right? Leaders have to constantly be planning out in their head. They're choreographing, really, while they're dancing. As followers, we're not. We might be adding our own kind of flourishes, <laughs> but we're not deciding, right? So we don't need to have the same library of moves in our head ready to go at any moment. That's just reality. Okay, so what's the catch? Why is this wrong, right? It sounds pretty reasonable. Well, here's the thing. No matter how good your leader is, it can't make up for you not knowing your own foot positions or your own basic moves, okay? Like if I take someone out on the street right, and I'm like, let's dance right now. And I try to lead them through the cross body lead. They're not going to do the right thing with their feet, right? It's just not going to happen. If they've never danced salsa before, straight up, not going to happen. Like whatever's happening, you need to understand not just those steps, but also the rules of how to move in salsa and how to change weight in salsa and how to step in salsa. And a good lead can help you feel those things, but he can't manifest it for you, okay? He can't put that knowledge in your head. And if you don't have it, you will mess up. Yes, leaders can seem like magicians, but they're not in possession of actual magical powers. Let's say we accept that maybe we need to know our basic footwork, right? Like, okay, so fine, we'll take a few um intro classes at the beginning of the night and, okay fine like i'm on the right foot at the same right time now we're done right that's enough almost 
but not quite. <laughs> and by almost, I mean not at all, but you know, I'm being nice. <laughs> this idea that if you have a good leader that they can lead you to do anything, like no matter what, no matter what you know, I can tell you as someone who leads, this is very false. <laughs> okay, yes. Can a really phenomenal leader make you do things on the dance floor that you never knew how to do? Yes, yes he can. Okay, but if you are not connected to your partner, there are so many signals that you are not only going to miss and not know what they mean, but you're not even gonna know that you missed them. The thing is, yes, leaders are meant to communicate to you what is to be done, but like in all things, communication is a two-way street, right? If you don't have that connection to your partner, no matter what the leader signals you to do, you're not gonna know to do it, right? As we get more advanced, this connection is only going to get more subtle and it's only gonna get easier to miss. So if you want to be able to do those really cool things that you see on the floor, you have to give it that 50-50 effort, right? The thing is, connecting with your partner, it's not an innate skill. Okay, it's not something that you're born with. It's not something that any of us are born with, and that's fine. It's just something that we have to put a little bit of time into. Something I hear from women a lot is, men just need to learn to lead. And this is true, men do need to learn to lead, okay? But women need to learn to follow just as much, right? It's, again, this is a two-way street. This is not something, it's not a mandate coming from on high. The thing is, when we have a poor connection, it isn't just that leaders can't lead us to do fancy stuff because I'm a big advocate of the fact that you don't need to do a lot to have fun, right? You can dance simple steps and dance them well and have a fantastic time. You don't necessarily need to be doing flips and dips and all that stuff, even though that of course is all very fun if you know how to do it. But you're also kind of making it not that fun for your partner. And I'm speaking bluntly here, like if this is you, like don't feel bad, okay? The thing is again, right, we all have to learn to follow. But if I'm dancing with someone a follower who doesn't have a strong connection to me, like the right kind of connection, it kind of either feels like hauling a sack of potatoes or pushing a limp string. Okay. Now, those are like, that's at the extreme, right? But as you can imagine, that's not the most fun thing ever, right? You don't want to put yourself in the position as the follower of giving your leader that kind of experience. Um, partially just to be gracious, but also because you would like to be asked to dance again, right? Especially by good leaders. And if they have a particularly rough time dancing with you, they're not exactly going to be jumping out of their seat to dance with you again. The good news about all of this is all of it is insider control as followers, okay? We can learn our foot positions. We can learn how to follow, how to connect with our partner. We can learn to start recognizing those signals and we can do that to as advanced of a level as we like. And we don't necessarily need to go, right, again, up to the extremes in order to be a good follower or a good partner. It's just a matter of kind of knowing and accepting what our responsibilities on the dance floor are. You want to be able to experience what social dancing can truly be. And what it is, is a free flow of communication. If all that it is, is somebody dragging you around, then you're not really experiencing what it could be, how fun this could really be. And I think that's a shame. <laughs> so that's why, I, that's why I'm doing this video today. Bottom line, okay, I totally get why people think that it's not that important for followers to know the steps as long as maybe they have some rhythm and they can make it look good. But please take responsibility for your 100% of your dancing, okay? And be the best possible partner and have the best possible time that you can. All right, thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope I haven't offended anyone today, 
but you know, I put real talk in the title for a reason. <laughs> I hope you like the new lighting setup. I'm still figuring it out and I'm still figuring out how to put it in my kind of small space. So obviously it's not perfect yet, but I'm gonna keep working on it. Also feel free to comment below if you have any questions you'd like me to answer or questions about anything that I said. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's all very helpful. Finally, if you want to receive notifications every time that I post a video, make sure you hit not only that subscribe button down below, but the little bell icon. Thanks so much for watching Dance Curious, and I'll see you next time.